Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you for welcoming here. Um, yeah, as mentioned, I'm from IHP. Maybe I think you all know IHP. No? So, we are a research institute from uh, Germany. So, and yeah, one, one main part we are doing currently is we are also developing an open source PDK for our technology. Yeah. So, we have an own clean room research institute and we are doing research for sure. Uh, but also MPW, that means um, we have customers who are also doing products with our technologies and uh, currently we are developing a PDK uh, which is open source because before we had only commercial PDKs for cadence and so on. And yeah, but currently I'm here for a different topic. So um, intentionally this presentation was planned to be held um, together with Thorsten Knoll from Hochschule Rhein-Main, but Unfortunately, he's not able to travel to, to Sweden, so this is the reason why I will have uh, this talk and you have to settle just for me today. So, yeah, as uh, the topic mentions, uh, we are currently developing a certificate course um, and I want to present what courses we will develop and uh, the status quo of our digital course, which is currently being developed um, with me and with Thorsten. So, um, yeah, first of all, uh, yeah, I don't want to bore you with any more details about IHP or uh, the development of our PDK, but I want to give you some background information about yeah, one of the projects which is ongoing on IHP and which is also a work package including um, for the developing or development of uh, this project uh, of, of the certificate courses. So. Um, one main goal of the project is um, yeah, education, training and the further education in microelectronics. Um, as you may know, we are really missing, um, yeah, to give you some rough, mon uh, rough numbers, 100,000 employees in the semiconductor industry, only in Germany, France, the Netherlands and Italy. And in the next years, there will be uh, additionally 130,000 more people because one of three will retire in the next 10 years because yeah, most of them are quite old already. And uh, yeah, the student numbers for uh, STEM are not raising, but they are uh, decreased at the moment. So solutions, as you may know, yeah, and it already uh, was always a solution is to attract new targets or new people for this field, for the microelectronics or semiconductor industry. And new target booths could be women, older people, and also job changers. And um, yeah, that is also the target group for the, the courses which we develop. So um, next to this, um, yeah, we should increase the attractiveness uh, of the industry of semiconductors. And um, one uh, solution is also practical trainings and hands-on, which will be covered by the courses which we develop. So the approach of the project is, yeah, that there are different focus area so that means, for example, resource conscious information and communication technology, um, practice-oriented semiconductor engineering technology, and uh, last but not least, um, the design of microelectronic circuits and systems. All this uh, should be covered in education, training, and also in further education in microelectronics. So and the approaches which are uh, used in the project are so uh, first of all, close cooperation with industry, research partners and educational institutions. And yeah, um, we will also create, as I already mentioned, uh, certification and qualification courses with different topics. And uh, last but not least, we will also give access or the project will give access to the manufacturing infrastructures and knowledge transfer. So yeah, IHP covers mm, some more of these approaches because uh, we will create this, the courses, for example, but we can also give access to this manufacturing uh, infrastructures as we have our own clean room uh, in-house and in Germany. So now we'll come to the development of the courses itself. So um, in the F&D project, uh, we have uh, a lot of um, partners inside Germany who will also uh, create different courses. I think we are roughly 10 courses which will be created uh, up to now. So, and we at IHP, we will create two courses. 
Uh, for sure, there will be at the beginning based on our uh, IHP SG13 G2 open source PDK. We can see also here uh, the GitHub repository if you do not know our PK, uh, PDK until now. So the first course which we are currently developing is um, a course for digital circuit design. And this course um, should be or should give a comprehensive example of the entire flow of the chip design. That means from the basic design to a behavioral description of the digital circuit, uh, covering the simulation, and the verification of this, and last but not least, uh, exporting and GDS that can be used for taping or submission to uh, yeah, a February design in short. So the other course which we uh, which will be created uh, in the next year or start in the next year is a certificate course for the uh, analog or mixed signal circuit design. So this will also cover the complete flow, and but for sure there will be additional steps which are different for the development of uh, digital circuits. So, uh, as mentioned, Thorsten was, uh, wanted to give also here a short into, uh, overview about the course because he is the main guy who will develop the digital course right now. So I will try to, uh, yeah, to give this talk or uh, his, his content here. Um, may you ask you the question or you're asking the question, why do we need yet another course? So let me explain this. So um, we think, or also the project agencies in Germany think we need such a, such a course. And uh, we decided to yeah, make this course itself also open source. That means yeah, you can already have a look at it because it will be a good git driven development. And um, the course itself focus on the open source tooling to build chips. So we don't want to give you any hints for how to design a proper digital circuit, but how to, to do that with um, yeah, open source tooling. So it will utilize the open road and uh, yeah, up to now uh, it will be uh, using uh, the IHP open source PDK as already mentioned, but we are really open um, for example, so um, any other PDK can later be used uh, for this course because yeah, we don't care what uh, chip will come out or in which technology the chip will be created because what we want to achieve in this project is we want to get more people able to design chips in the end. That's the main goal. So this is why we think this uh, course will also help uh, yeah, to further demystify EDA into the public, public domain. So the workflow for the development is uh, yeah, here in top-down order given. Already done are the, the structure, which is already created, I will show later. And also uh, Thorsten identified the most challenging parts for the creation of this course. Currently he is doing, um, yeah, doing content for the chapters and lectures which will be inside this course. And last but not least, we will also have a try run to get some feedback and rework the course but I will come to this uh, topic later. So here, a brief uh, course overview. Um, this course is planned to be a full five-day course. So in the end, you will get a certificate for this course because yeah, it will be a certificate course. And uh, we will have here um, 10, 10 lectures, as you can see, so that you get a brief overview about everything which is uh, yeah, related to the chip design with open source tooling. So uh, yeah, we will have lectures inside and uh, very important, we will also have training and hands-on so that you get really in touch with this course and uh, yeah, there will be also question rounds and yeah, very important, we will also have, as you can see here, lunch breaks in between. So, um, yeah, as, you, as written here, we have a five-day version or a full five-day version of this course. And mm, currently we are also planning, for example, to have some executive version, um, like two days, if we want to get uh, yeah, just a brief overview uh, about the ship design without, for example, hands-on or whatever, as a yeah, CEO or whatever from, from a certain company. So, yeah, maybe to sum up, this slide in the beginning, we need your help. We need the help of the community. 
So um, you are uh, encouraged to participate. So just uh, take a look in the GitHub repository for this course. You can review, debug, discuss, comment, or whatever. And yeah, it's open source, and we really like to have get some feedback. So the time frame for this course is that we uh, try to, to finish it until end of 24, and uh, we will have some trial run in, in next year, which I will announce. And yeah, so we really need your help, so just take a look at the GitHub, at the current state. Maybe Torsten already provided something today because he is not here. Uh, yeah. So um, I would like to announce here um, the try run, which is planned from uh, February 10 to 14, 25. So, yeah, we plan to have this try run uh, on site because we think, um, yeah, to get feedback and uh, for communi communication reasons, we think, yeah, it should be on site. And yeah, as it is maybe a five day course, we, we, we plan to have that. Uh, the participants may be at least two or three days on site, or in this case, five days. And at the beginning here for this test course, there will be no particip participation fee, but uh, later um, it is planned to uh, provide this course as a real certificate course uh, via a learning platform as a regular course, and then there will be some uh, participation pa participation fee, or yeah, because you one needs to cover the course uh, for the people who are uh, giving this course. And yeah, as resources are limited at IHP, uh, most probably some, some third person will give this course in future, at least we hope so. Um, yeah, so if you are interested in this course as a participant or want to support the development or giving any feedback, just contact me during the conference. Here are my contact information. Um, yeah. I think as I'm quite tall, you can find me and see me here at the conference and get a, uh, can chat around. And yeah, so just contact me or Thorsten or via GitHub. So last but not least, if you are uh, planning to uh, attend this course uh, in the try run, this could be also a good possibility to visit IHP. As you can see here, this is our institute in Frankfurt because the try run will be at IHP. We have some cool room for giving tutorials at IHP and uh, yeah, there's also a good chance that you may visit uh, our clean room. Maybe you already had a, visit, uh, a look at the clean room because uh, Medven did a video in our institute and but seeing this in yeah, real life is even better. And maybe you can also hold a wafer in your hand if you're visiting IHP and yeah, take a chance and think about for particip participation in this uh, dry run. So last but not least, I would to give some or to show some acknowledgements because um, yeah, first of all, I want to thank the uh, open source community because they have provided a lot of help uh, in the development of our PDKs, our open source PDKs. And uh, yeah, here I want to also thank two different public funded German projects, especially here our FMD QNC project, which uh, funds the development of the courses. So, thank you for your attention. I'm happy to answer your questions if there are some questions, and I think I, I caught up some time. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, will there be any recordings of the le lectures available uh, after the course, after the trial run? Uh, we didn't thought about it, but I, I will think about it. So, but the course itself will be available. You can also do it on your own, but for sure, uh, yeah, I will think about it. Maybe we can record at least the presentations which we will give, and then, yeah, it's a good idea. Thanks. Any more questions? No. So I have a question about the technology. Uh, I, I'm not sure I have the whole picture, but but your this by CMOS process is very very good for high frequency things, right? Mm -hmm. 
so are, are you targeting both uh, digital electronics and analog and RF? Uh, mm, uh, maybe just analog for the first time. I don't, I'm not uh, sure if RF will be al already available. Yeah? It's quite complex to uh, develop the PDK to make it's it available uh, for open source flow. So developing the PDK, so the, the problem there would be like, is it like transistor models and, and having all these? I think the uh, models are not the problem, but the tools. Yeah. Currently. Sorry, the, which, which tools? The open source? For RF. For RF. For RF, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, interesting. Um, I think there was some talk of maybe having a session on Sunday on kind of like open source analog tooling. And I suspect we might hear more about that later today and tomorrow. Um, might be interesting to find out what the limitations are at the minute, potentially. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, any last questions? Nope. Okay. Thank you very much, Christian. Thanks.